Am I looking right here? Wise. Look at you. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, my name's Jesse Camerzel. Charlie Salas Humara. Shame Salpi. Scotty Copelman. My name is Mike Gelati. I have all the tile pieces in the back. I'm a brick mason, skating, finding spots. It's like being inspired by buildings and stairs and things like that. Because like, all the stuff I built was outside, so I wanted to build something for inside. Uh, the paintings that I have right now are, uh, there's two that are abstract and maybe a couple, I guess depending on what we're going to hang, uh, a couple figurative, but the paintings are sort of loosely based on my experiences in Chicago, kind of hanging out and finding weird spots, uh, skateboarding and hanging out with my friends and that kind of thing. The ceramics I did for the show, it's called My Dark is Beautiful, which is a, uh, it's all about embracing my darkness inside and outside. I talk about how skateboarding for me was kind of like, you know, it's an activity, but it's also, I was kind of just like running away from stuff. And with my art is more about embracing and facing all those things that I was running away from. I'm an artist, I've been skating my whole life. Yeah, I do all the skateboards for tactics. And then, um, yeah, here it's all crayon on paper and then um, some oil paintings. And then I have a TV I made out of paper mache and like you could scroll it and like change the channel and stuff. Like growing up, you know, and just doodling and drawing and stuff like that. And I never really knew that like you could do anything with that, you know, like it was just fun. I think skateboarding like introduced me to a lot of that and the people I surrounded myself with. I sent a bunch of hand-painted skateboards and a bunch of hand-drawn clothing. Yeah, t-shirts, hats, and jeans and khakis and stuff. All the hand-painted boards are movies I grew up watching. Really, uh, kind of was obsessed with like '80s and '90s movies. I had a skateboard shop for many years where people would leave behind boards, brand new and used, and I would just draw on top of those to like make some sort of use out of them so they weren't just thrown out. Yeah. I don't really ever want to keep skateboarding out of my life in any way, so it's like the only reason I'm here right now, so yeah. yeah.